Hey everybody, Jason Ryan from iAnimate. How's everybody doing? Hopefully you're all doing fantastic. So iAnimate is celebrating 10 years of training animators from all over the world. Uh, our enrollment has just started and the next block starts January 4th, 2021. All our lectures, reviews and demos are recorded live. So if your times do not match up with our time zone in here in California, don't worry, they're all recorded. So you can always catch up with the recordings later. I animate's all about live demos. Uh, so every week I do a two hour live demo for all of iAnimate students. So I approach shots in a feature animation quality way so that you can see from start to finish how I come up with concepts, how I animate, and then how I polish all with an eye for feature quality animation. We're here to help you, right? We're here to push your skills forward, your current skills forward. So send us your reel, we'll do a recommendation for you to make sure that you're in the right workshop to push your skills forward. So let's go ahead and jump right into our demo. So for our, our spotlight demo here, what I thought I'd do is animate a biped walk next to a quad walk and talk about like the similarities and how I approach both, uh, both characters. Uh, there was a great sequence in uh, 101 Dalmatians where Pongo was looking out the window and kind of analyzing different characters uh, that were walking with their, their dogs, you know, and they, they had similar sort of posture and similar timings. Like they had a little girl with a puppy and uh, sort of like an artsy fartsy kind of uh, character with a, an artsy fartsy type dog, you know, and it was just really funny and very appealing. So I thought we'd, we'd do something similar to that, like so we can analyze sort of like the dog walk, right? So I'm starting off with a contact pose here, right? So on our character, our biped character, we've got uh, the leg stride, right? So we've got the contact pose, right? So we've got that, like, and it's basically coming up onto the ball of his foot here. And then this is sort of like a heel toe type walk and not a very pushed walk. I'm gonna do something somewhat uh, in a natural realm, right? And then for the dog, same thing, right? We've got the contact and I'm gonna do the contact in the front to keep it similar to our biped. And while the, the contact in the front uh, the legs are and the stride length, the back legs are going to be a half a step or thereabouts, right? Uh, behind the uh, the front legs or ahead, you know. So I've got the passing position here, but I'm favoring the back position here so we can see uh, the back leg. But basically, the back leg will come forward and release the front leg of the same side, right? So I try to, when I'm, when I'm kind of working out the, uh, a character walk, um, it's usually, like if the character is walking really slowly, they'll have more legs on, on the ground at the same time. But if a character is just walking from one uh, spot to the next, um, like just like a, as a normal walk, then we'll use this sort of a, a technique, okay? Awesome, all right, so let's start off with our, our quad, our, our biped walk here, okay? So I'm gonna do just an in betweening just previous, okay? And I'm gonna show our, our other character here. So it's B and then we'll show two, okay? Apply. So we can see both at the same time. Okay, so we wanna do the opposite of our contact here. So let's do basically a trace back on that, right? But it's gonna be the opposite arm now, right? So this arm will now be his left arm coming forward. And this will be his right arm sort of back here. I want to make it sort of even on both sides, right? So it doesn't feel like the character is limping or anything. Okay, and then this will be his right leg. And this will be his left leg. Okay. And we'll just erase that little guy there. Okay, so now we're going to make this a march time, right? So basically speaking, this will be uh, frame 13. Okay, all right. And now let's go ahead and do the opposite of our dog walk here. Right, so this will be now the contact on the other side. And this will be his body right here. So this will be back this way, okay. And then the opposite way here, right? So this will be now this side. And this will be the pass position over here, 
okay? Um, I'm not really too worried about the, the tail overlap yet, right? Because we wanna make sure we get the ups and downs and everything working, the timing working, and then we can do our secondary pass on the tail. Okay, all right. I'm gonna to try to keep it like nice and fast and rough, right? Just so we can see how everything's working together, okay? All right, so this will be the far leg. I'll just kind of shade them in just so it, uh, we can kind of distinguish the back leg, the back leg in perspective, okay? And then same thing with our, our human here. We'll just kind of shade that leg in there and shade this leg in over here, okay? All right, so the next most important pose, our breakdown right in the middle, our passing position for our contact pose. All right, so let's go ahead and grab our seven here, frame seven, so right in the center, right? So six frames to get to there, six frames to get to the next pose. Okay, so the passing position uh, is basically right in the center, right? So that his leg will be right here, right? Supporting the weight of his body, okay? Now this can be, you know, if you, if you think about like, you know, the angle of the leg and the length of the leg, it can be slightly higher than our, our contact pose here, but not much, right? So we're just gonna keep it somewhere similar to here, okay? Okay, and keep the same sort of attitude here in the body. I don't wanna go back and forwards like during a walk, you know, just kind of keep the same sort of attitude, okay? And then on the way back here with the arms, so this arm is coming back to this position here, okay? So we just wanna get a little bit of overlap, not much, right? You don't want to make the character feel like he's swimming or anything, right? So just a little overlap, a little drag. Okay, and then the other arm will basically be behind his body there. Okay, now. Okay, so this is the, basically his back leg there. Okay, so his other leg is gonna come forward now, right? So we're gonna draw this passing position here. So basically it'll be, the leg is gonna come up and then it's gonna kick through. So it's gonna make a sort of an arc, that's sort of like this, right? So our passing position will be somewhere here, okay? So generally speaking, like our, 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 we're quite lazy. Like we don't walk with like a huge big step, right? So our feet barely come off the ground, like just enough to clear it, right? So we don't trip. And sometimes you do trip, right? But basically our leg comes up like this and then kicks through, okay? So let's clean that up a bit there. Okay, good. All right, now, so for our four-legged character here, our passing position, so now we get to the contact on the back and the passing position on the front, okay? So now here, same thing, right? So this leg is gonna come back so it supports the weight, right? It'll be slightly higher, slightly higher here. And then our leg basically bends sort of like this, sort of like that, right? So it just, just comes off the ground and then it's gonna plop right down over here. So I reach through, okay? So a little higher here, ever so slightly. I'm not putting in the overlap yet because we wanna wait until we get the, the highs and lows working, all right? So I'm just gonna indicate that in there, okay? And then <clears throat> this leg has come forward and is releasing that leg, right? So now we gotta get this leg forward. Okay, so basically somewhere here. Okay, and this will be slightly lower, ever so slightly, right? Now we haven't put any weight on this leg yet, right? So it's still sort of extended out, right? And then we get the sort of the squash 
on the next key. Okay, so over here, this will be back. So contact on the back and passing on the front. Okay. The tail will be somewhere down there. Okay, I'm not gonna work it on the tail yet. Okay, let's just work on the body. Okay, good. All right, now, so let's go ahead and do the opposite of these two, right? So I'm gonna copy this. I'm using Flipbook, by the way, just for this, just in case you guys are, are wondering what software this is. Okay, so I'm gonna put that there and just so I can copy it, right? So this will now be this leg. Okay, and then this will be the far leg. Okay, now this will be the, the back arm and the other one will be the front arm, right? So draw the body here. So this will be the back arm right here. And then <clears throat> let's go ahead and delete this so we can see where the, the arms are. So I'm gonna cut that frame. Okay, so we have this. And so this arm is now coming forward, right? So we wanna get a little, just a little bit of drag. Not much, right? Don't, don't go nuts with the drag because it'll end up looking like the, the character sort of underwater, right? Or treading water, you know, with his arm. Okay, so a little drag there. Okay, and then this one would be on the way back here. So it'd be somewhere here, like his forearm, okay? And this will be slightly higher again, right? So just ever so slightly higher. And again, I'm not gonna worry about the overlap yet. We'll do that later because there's a, a technique that I use for that as well to keep the, the attitude right. And so we can get the, the right uh, feeling, okay? Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the same thing with our dog here Add a copy. And we'll put that right here, add a paste, and let's do the opposite of this, okay? So basically speaking, this would be this leg right here, his right leg, and then this would be his left leg, kind of coming through. Okay, I'll just indicate like where the, the cranium would be and his ears. Okay, then opposite of this. I know we only have like 45 minutes, so just trying to work as quickly as I can, you know, so we can, we can see how this thing will work. Okay. Okay, let's cut that. Okay, so we have our main keys working, right? So now like our breakdowns in between here, let's start off with our main character here, our biped. Okay, so between here and here, right? We're gonna work between these two keys. So let's go ahead and show in between in previous and next. So we can see where the feet are, right? So somewhere here would be our squash frame, right? And this would be our highs and lows, right? So this would be the lowest. Okay, so on this, I'm not gonna go down too far because I don't wanna make it super cartoony. I'm gonna just basically bring them down to around here. Okay, and then for the squash, let's put the foot somewhere here. Okay, like that. And then this is because they're basically on a treadmill, like the background's sort of panning by, this foot will actually go backwards, right? So around the same sort of length. And then this would be up on the toe right here. So let's hide our in-betweens here. Well, let's, let's just show our previous one so we can see where everything's going, okay. So he's coming up on the toe here. So our bodies, we're gonna drop down a little bit here. So our body's gonna drop down to somewhere about there. Keep the same sort of posture.
and we can get a little bit of squash and stretch in here, like when, when we're actually going into doing like our, our full arm walk, right? But for now, let's just keep it fairly natural, okay? Okay, squish down here. So we got a nice squash. Okay. And again, we're gonna get this nice drag. But what we're gonna do is when we're swinging through here, I'm gonna let this follow through a little bit here. So it gets a little bit of overlap, right? So we'll have this going this way. And then I'll have a little bit of overlap going that way, just so it swings through. And then it can come back to here. Okay. Okay, so we get the squash. So this will be the lowest point. Okay. I'm just indicating in where the eye line might be, but we'll get to do the, the overlap now in a second. So the same thing with the, the back arm, it's swinging around, right? So we wanna just get a little bit of follow through on the way back. So it goes a little bit this way. And then it can come back this way, right? So we may indicate in here, just a slight part of the, the arm, the hand, right? As it comes through. Okay, good. Okay, let's copy that over to the other side. Edit copy. We'll put it somewhere, let's see, right here, right? So edit paste. And then this way we can do the opposite of that. Okay, so on here, this will be his right leg. Okay, this will be his left leg. Now I know there's all sorts of twists and stuff and like that we're not really indicating in here, but we're just kind of working with the gate. Okay, so here, this is the, his far arm, right? Basically coming through there, okay. And then this will be his right arm here. Okay. Just indicate where his head would be somewhere there. Okay, let's cut that one. Cut that. Okay, now on the uh, on our quad quadruped here, let's uh, indicate in where. So we're going from uh, from let's see. So back here. Okay, from here, let's get go to the squash position here. So we're going to do like a in betweening right there. Okay, so the foot would be somewhere there, okay, for the squash. Okay, and then this leg over here would be basically taken off, right? So just coming up to the toe position right over here. Okay. This leg here would be going back and this would be basically in the overshoot position. All right, so, so we're kind of combining couple of keys here, right? So this would be the squash on the front, right? So it matches our 2D guy right here, right? But on the other side, it's a half a step behind or ahead. So this would be now an overshoot. This would be the up on the back position, okay? So right here, so we're gonna be stepping back here with our back leg. And slightly higher, right? We don't want a major amount of up and down, but we still will have a little bit, okay? Okay, and then this will be stepping through. And then coming down, sort of almost reaching for this position here, right? Get a little further, because it's basically that leg coming forward to release this leg, right? A little bit further. Okay, and I'm trying to keep this bone here somewhat parallel to this bone, right? So like this bone here and this bone here are somewhat similar in the walk. 
Okay, and then this leg will be basically just about to take off. It's literally just scraping the ground here with its toes, okay? So this is the squash and this is the up. So slightly lower, slightly higher, okay? Now I don't wanna do like a crazy rocking horse type thing. I wanna keep that fairly subtle, okay? Just enough to take the weight Okay, and a little bit lower here. So it's gonna be low because it's attached to the chest, right? So the neck is gonna come down. Okay, and this is up. But not, not a lot, right? Don't go crazy, like I was saying, don't go crazy with the, the ups and downs on your walk, unless you're going for something super cartoony, like a Scooby-Doo. Okay, so up and squash, right? Okay, good. All right, so let's go ahead and copy this one. So we get the opposite side over here. Edit paste. Okay, so now this will be our front right leg, and this will be our back leg over here, left leg, not back leg, front leg. I'm gonna get mixed up between all the legs because there's so much going on here, right? So here, this will be our right back leg and our left back leg. All right, coming through to release. Okay, and this will be the, the up position. And this will be a squash over here. Okay, I'm, gonna tr I'm trying to match the heights on both sides. Otherwise, what you'll get, if you don't match it, um, you'll get sort of a limping kind of feel, like one side will go higher than the other. So I'm trying to match and try to get the, the feeling of it to feel like it's uh, in the right spot. Okay, edit. Okay, now let's see. So we have from our beginning here, so we have that, okay. Now we need to get our overshoot on the front here, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and do our up pose on this guy. Okay, so let's jump back over to his level here, okay? So we're going to squash, contact, right? Squash, passing, and then we've got to get to the up pose here, right? So this is in the wrong spot. This would go right there. Okay, so this one will be our up pose. And what we're doing here is doing the highs now, right? So I'm gonna do in between the previous and next, just so I can see where the feet are. Okay, so like this foot is basically coming back to our contact pose, right? So we're basically gonna be coming up onto sort of like onto the balls of our feet here. Now, depending on how high the character walks uh, will depend on like, you know, uh, his foot position, right? So like if we're going for a high on the, on the up position, or if it's coming down. So some, some people walk with the high being the passing position and some people go to the high as the up position, right? So you might have this sort of a thing, just like a up and down like that, or you might have this, you know, so you get a little bit higher than our pass position. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go a little bit higher here for the up pose. Okay, we'll get straight leg. Okay, and then we're gonna kick through, right? So this is basically where uh, in a cartoony walk, you'd go even higher with the leg and then come back down to the contact. But in a normal walk, what you're gonna do is sort of come up off of here and then kick through and almost scrape the ground with your heel, right? Or with the sole of your foot, right? So it's almost like this, like kicking through this way. Okay. 
and we can keep that leg somewhat straight. So it's almost like if your, your knee is coming forward, it sort of finishes its movement coming forward and then sort of lets the, the rest of the leg kick through, right? So we got something similar to this. So kick through and then it's gonna to come to our, our contact here on this side. Okay, so let's go a little higher here with our body. Okay, and then we're finishing the overlap here on this side, right? So the arm is coming through. We get that pendulum swing coming this way. Okay. Make sure we can see that hand there. Okay, and it comes back over to there. And then it's gonna swing forward again, right? Maybe a little bit lower. So we get that pendulum swing. A little break of the wrist. And then maybe we'll see his hand here. Okay. Okay, then we'll come down to the contact and then down to the squash. Okay. Okay, good. All right, so we have that one. So let's go ahead and copy that now to the other side. So it basically we be here, right? Edit, paste. I'm going to copy our contact here as well, so I can I can flip between the two, right? So paste that right here, because one would be the same as 25, okay? And let's turn off our next. Okay, so now we have this being our right leg, and this would be the left leg kicking through, okay? This will be the far arm now, right? So we're swinging back. And the head being somewhere here. Okay, and then let's go ahead and cut this one so we can see where our right arm would be. So swinging through, getting that pendulum swing over to here. Let's do previous and next so we can see the in-between. So from here over to there, right? So you can see it'd be sort of hidden behind silhouette wise on the other side. Okay, good. And we're starting to feel that walk on him. He's feeling good. Okay, and now let's go ahead and get our last breakdown on our dog here. Okay, and we're doing good, we're doing good. Okay, so now here, this will be sort of like the overshoot on the front leg, okay? So let's turn off our neck so I can just see the previous pose so I can see where we're going, coming from. Okay, so in here, this will be the up pose, right? So the leg is gonna be coming back over to here, coming up onto the toes. and then reaching forward here. Now in I animate, you know, we get to do like a, I usually animate like for two hours, you know, doing like these little demos and stuff like that, which is, which is really fun because I get to do full on shots and different stages, you know, so we can talk about mechanics and we can talk about, uh, all the nitty gritty kind of details that I use on a day-to-day -day basis to animate shots and dialogue and all that stuff. But this just gives you a little bit of a flavor for what we've got going on here. And our next block of workshops, and we're celebrating 10 years, which is awesome, 
right? But our next block of workshops starts on January 4th and enrollment is open. So start applying for, for the workshops to push your skills forward. Okay, now we've got the up position on this side and then we want the squash position on the rear end here. Okay, so in here, foot will be somewhere there. Get this squash right here. Squash down. And then this will be a little further back. Same thing, right? So this is the squash position. So it'll be just coming up on the toes and then it will release, right? Because we're on that, that sort of treadmill, right? So you got to imagine like that background going by. Okay, good. All right. Starting to get that. Okay, cool. So I think we've got all of our characters here. So let's go ahead and play. All right, let's take off the we need to get our front part right here. Let's go edit, copy. And we gotta do that same pose over here. Okay, edit, paste. And let's go ahead and get this up pose here. Edit, copy. And then edit, paste right here. So we can do the opposite of this side. Okay. All right, so. So this now will be this will be on this side right here, just the right side, and this is our left side, sort of reaching through. Got the up pose here. This will be the right leg back here, and this will be the squash on the left side. So again, let's just kind of shade them in just so we, we don't get too confused. It gets confusing when you're drawing them. It doesn't get so confusing when you're working in CG. All right, edit cut. Okay, and now let's end this on frame 24. And hit play. So now we've got like our two characters, basically on the same timing, right? Um, so like the, the contacts are the same on both characters, but you can see the way the back leg is releasing the front leg on the same side, right? We've got that up and down. Now, <clears throat> to work on the highs and lows and the overlap on the head, like I was saying in a previous uh, snippet that you might have seen um, from my animate for myself, uh, what I usually do is I go to the highs and the lows, right? And that will be the posture. That will be like, you know, the angle of the head that I want to keep it at, right? And then on the way down from there, I drag and on the way up, you know, I'll drag it the other way, okay? So let's go ahead and find our ups and downs, right? So this is the squash on our, our quadruped and on our, on our human here. So I'll keep it the same angle, right? So I want to keep that same sort of nose in the air type thing, right? So same on him. The same on this guy, right? And then for the uh, the highs, we want to keep it the same angle, right? Same angle, right? So we'll keep that this way. I'll keep his nose in the air. Okay, we'll draw his ear in here. And his nose be maybe there. Okay, so same thing on our human. So this is the up pose on the human, the biped. So keep that same sort of angle right there, right? Now, so this contact pose is on the way down, right? So what we'll do is have a little bit of drag 
going this way slightly right we don't want too much overlap we don't want the character to be doing this like as they're walking you know but a little bit of drag going this way okay and the same thing with our dog character so let's erase that so we'll have a slight little bit of drag on the way down okay so slight so this this the squash pose. So this actually should be, this should be like like exactly this. Okay. So let's do that because that's the highs and lows, right? So we want that pose right there. Edit copy. Copy. Oops. No. Hold on a second. Let's drag this. Okay. So these, and then we just do copy. Break the link. Okay, paste it right here. Okay, this is basically our posture, right? So the contact is actually on the way down, right? Okay, so we have our highs. So this is the up and this is the down, right? So we want that same pose, right? So let's go ahead and grab that. The same one, copy, because this is the uh, this is the one we want. Copy. We'll get this figured out. It's just that I've actually drawn it in. Okay, so now here, this is where we want to paste our our down pose. Okay, because that's our squash, and then we want the up pose. Up pose. So let's copy that and get that right there. Paste. Okay, so now we have our up and down, right? Now let's go in and just erase our breakdowns. Okay, so basically this one will be dragging and then this one will be dragging. Okay, this one contact will be dragging and ba -ba -ba, 25 will be the same as one. Okay, good. Okay, so here this is our passing pose. So we're going to drag slightly because we're coming from here and we're going up to this pose. So just ever so slightly, not a lot, right? We just want to get a little bit of drag because otherwise the character will look like he's uh, bobbing too much, okay? Okay, so it's going to be slight tilt down this way, and then we get to there, and then we're going to drag on the way down to this. Ever so slightly, right? Not a lot, because a, a little dab will do you, basically, right? But now we're going to drag up this way, because we're on the way down. Okay, and then this is our down position. Down or squash. Okay, so that's our home base, right? And then <clears throat> same thing on the other side, right? So we'll go ahead, get a little drag this way. So I'm not indicating in here like the side to side or, or anything. This is mainly just for our, our gate. Okay, and then this would be coming down, right? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit out of this one. So let's copy this, edit copy, and paste it right here because one is the same as as twenty five. So let me just delete this one. So we don't we don't flip that frame, right? All right, there we go. That's where it starts to get confusing because you start to flip like the same frame. But I'm just deleting that frame. Get a little drag, same thing, right? So a slight drag. Okay. 
Okay. So we have that little bit of overlap, right? Good, okay. And then the same thing in our human character over here, right? So the contact is there, right? And then we have that little bit of drag this way, right, for the squash. And then the passing position is up, right? So we're, we're, we're on the way up. So we're gonna drag slightly down, okay? And then we got the up position, right? So that's the posture position. So the contact on this side is gonna drag because we're on the way down, okay? So ever so slightly. Drag, and then this would be a regular position, regular angle, and then our passing position here on the other side, again, slightly down. And then our up position, again, the highs and lows are the same angle, right? So you have that there, and then you have that slight drag. So we have a tiny bit of overlap there, right? So this is it, this is our characters. Good, again, so like when, when you're thinking about like doing your quad walks, uh, it's always the back leg releasing the front leg of the same side. Now the slower this guy walks, the further back the legs go, right? back to almost like on all fours and then just releasing one leg at a time, right? So this would be a normal walk gait as if a character is just walking from one place to the next. Uh, that's the sort of technique that I use. And then the slower they get, uh, so basically here, we delay this leg a little further back and then on the, the front side here, this would be a little further forward. So you, you're a little bit more cautious, almost a cautious walk, okay? But that's about it. So again, enrollment opens up in January. Well, it's open up now, but our, our next block starts in 2021, January 4th. So please sign up. Uh, a lot of our spots are already going. We have very, very limited spaces. So please do sign up uh, as soon as you possibly can. It's always a first come first serve basis. And like I say, I do these demos every single week uh, in 2D and in CG. Uh, that way we can see sort of my approach to animation uh, on feature level shots.